Good morning everybody. This is Cruise Man. I'm just getting ready to do a uh, little motor vlog here. It's a beautiful Saturday morning once again here in Carrollton, Texas. A little bit of breeze today. Just sitting in my driveway. Wanted to... I'm using this uh, motor vlog as a video that I will also be... Uh, It'll be the basis of another video that I'm doing to show how to do multi-cam editing in Final Cut Pro X. So you'll probably notice I left some clips in at the very beginning that I don't know I normally edit out. And you'll notice I used a, a hand clap and I used that of course to synchronize the uh, video from the two cameras. I'll explain that in that video. So anyway, got a few things I want to talk about today. Um, this is, I think, day 39 or 40 of the uh, shutdown. And uh, we're going to go take a little ride here on this beautiful Saturday morning. Fortunately, in Texas, uh, there is no rule against getting out and riding your motorcycle like apparently there is in some states. So, and we've had some pretty good weather. We've actually had uh, some decent weather the last couple of weeks. When it's not raining, the weather's pretty nice. It's a little cool this morning. It's about 60, I'd say it's probably about 61 degrees, 62 degrees. And it's one of those mornings where 61 degrees feels like 55 degrees. So it's a little cool, but it's nice. I love it. Just tooling through the neighborhood. Now, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes when I'm motor vlogging, I'm just drifting. I'm I'm not I'm not really uh, planning what I'm gonna say. But sometimes I make some notes and I tape them to my uh, gas gas cap lid, as you can see here, because there's a few things I want to make sure I talk about, and so I just kind of refer to those notes. I don't have my headset turned on right now, so I'm not getting directions from the GPS through the headset. I'll just not in any hurry to do that right now. One thing I do want to make sure to mention is we hit another milestone this last week on my YouTube channel, uh, we just uh, exceeded 22,000 subscribers. So pretty excited about that. Anytime I hit, hit an e extra 1,000 milestone, I always make a mention of it. And I just want to thank all of you for taking the time to subscribe. And, you know, I, that brings up a very good subject that I really want to make sure to mention today because throughout this whole uh, shutdown period I've had two completely opposite experiences in my businesses as many of you know I have two businesses we have a website for the cruise industry called cruisereport.com and then of course I have cruise man's garage and cruisereport.com shortly after this all started as you can imagine uh, basically has lost all of its revenue uh, we had cruise lines that paid us to advertise on our website and our website was a consumer information website with reviews and other information and tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff and we have a YouTube channel as well and we have now officially lost every single cruise line that was paying us for advertising. Which is understandable because they're all pretty much shut down right now. But it took nearly 20 years to build up those customers. And it's unlikely or doubtful uh, that it will ever recover. And for those of you that own small businesses, and when I say small business, I'm not talking 500 or less employees. I'm talking about one or two employees. Like my business, where it's basically just me and Ricky. And 
if you don't own a small business, you probably are under the impression that there's all these billions and trillions of dollars that the government has provided to help us. And uh, I'm here to tell you it's just simply not true. Um, my brother's in another business where he's a graphic designer. He works by himself. And he spent glorious hours researching all of these different programs and applying for some of them. And uh, as of today, nothing's come through. I think he got maybe one, like a little thousand dollar deposit for something, but what good's a thousand dollars gonna do you, you know? So, this money all gets snapped up by the big companies, bigger companies, I should say, and are really designed for companies that have employees. And there really is no assistance for the little guy. So anyway, but that wasn't the point I was trying to make. The point I was trying to make is that we basically completely lost our income from the cruise report business. But I've been very, very grateful and am very appreciative of those of you who have supported my YouTube channel and uh, my maintenance video business because that has been pretty much sustaining us through this whole thing. So I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am that uh, you continue to watch my videos and if you I know you hate those stupid ads that come on in the middle of the videos or even at the beginning of the videos and I just learned the other day I didn't even know this I learned it from another channel that if you click the skip ads button we don't get paid <laughs> I didn't know that I guess it makes sense but it, it it's really irrelevant one way or the other I know nobody likes to sit through those 15 second ads or whatever they are and it's not like anybody's getting rich on a motor vlog channel trust me on that but uh, just wanted to let you know how appreciative I am that you continue to watch these videos and support the channel now now that I've had all the uh, mushy good news I don't want to leave you completely under, inter, unentertained. I want to give you some good content today. And I'm going to go into another episode of Am I the Only One? Am I the only one that bothers when I park my car in a parking lot and I, I go out of my way to park as far away from anybody as I can because I'm trying to avoid getting a door ding. Am I the only one that bothers when I come back out into that parking lot and someone has gone out of their way? They went out of their way to park next to me, right next to me. I was at Whole Foods the other day and there were couldn't have been more than 10 people in the whole store. And I parked my car all the way off by itself and I come out and there's this big SUV and he's pulled so close to me I could barely get my door open. He had the entire parking lot he could have parked in but he had to park right next to me. Does that bother anybody but me? Am I the only one? Put it in the comments down below. I want to know if I'm the only one that that bothers. And they do it on the motorcycle too. I'll park my motorcycle you know, far over in a parking spot and they'll cross over the line of that parking spot just so they can get close to me. What the hell? Can they not park within the lines of the parking lot? So I'm just pointing out some pretty stupid things. I've talked about stupid people before and stupid business practices before. Am I the only one that thinks it's that credit reporting agencies like Experian and TransUnion and Equifax. Is this a scam or what? Is it? Am I the only one that thinks these places are just a scam? 
It has nothing to do with your credit worthiness, what your credit score is. I mean, Experian has a program right now where if you sign up for their app and you download their app, they raise your credit score 12 points. What the hell does having an app on your phone have to do with your credit worthiness? Am I the only one that thinks this is strange? I don't know. Put it in the comments down below if I'm the only one this bothers. I heard a story the other day about American Airlines. People have been buying these tickets to go on American Airlines and they might buy a three or four thousand dollar business class ticket and American Airlines because of COVID-19 decides to cancel the flight. They don't give you a refund, they just give you a voucher, good for another flight, and you have a year to spend it. Can you imagine any other kind of business getting away with something like that? The, the Department of Transportation actually had to go to American Airlines and say, you are going to give these people refunds. If you cancel a flight and they've paid for a ticket, a voucher isn't good enough. You need to give them a refund. Imagine you go into Best Buy and you buy a $3,000 television and you're waiting for it to be delivered and they send you a notification saying, I'm sorry, we're out of stock. We'll give you a $3,000 voucher towards a TV and you've got a year to spend it on another TV. They couldn't get away with that. These airlines, with the exception of Southwest Airlines, because Southwest Airlines does treat their customers like a customer. But these other airlines, especially American Airlines, because I'm, I'm more familiar with American because we live in Dallas-Fort Worth, and if you fly anywhere internationally, you have to fly on American. And they just treat you like dirt. I just want to know if I'm the only one that bothers. I'm seeing some other bikers out today. Those are my thoughts on this Saturday, April the 25th. Again, I appreciate all of you that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, click that little subscribe button down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I promise you more mindless, meaningless ramblings in the future. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.